Hey there, LinkedIn fam. It's Bethany here. Welcome to my first newsletter. Today, we're going to be diving in a topic that's close to my heart, growing your sales so you can spend more time doing what you love. Last year, we sent over 50,000 pitches between cold email and LinkedIn. And today I'm gonna to share what not to do and where to focus your energy in 2024 so you can exceed your sales goals. I've navigated the highs and lows of this platform and I'm excited to share some golden nuggets with you. So let's talk about three of the biggest mistakes I see people make on LinkedIn when trying to boost sales. And of course, I won't leave you hanging. I'll also share three practical strategies to ramp up your revenue in 2024. First up, the overseller syndrome. I know you know them. Every post, every message is a sales pitch. Remember that time I bombarded my network with constant pitches? Sorry. Spoiler alert, it didn't work well. LinkedIn is a community, not a billboard. People are here for actual relationships, not just transactions. Next, let's talk about the profile ghost town. Picture this, somebody makes an engaging comment on your profile and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. You visit their profile and it's like a ghost town from an old Western movie. Outdated information, no recent activities. They've had their LinkedIn profile for 20 years. I've been there and let me tell you, it's not a place where sales grow. Finally, there's the networking wallflower. It's like going to a party and standing in the corner so you don't have to talk to people. I've done it, we've all done it, but LinkedIn, you've got to mingle, share stories, and actually engage. Remember, it's about connections, not just collecting contacts. Now, let's shift gears. Let's talk about what we're seeing that is working today. Strategy number one, show up consistently. Sounds easy. It's really not. There is an opportunity right now to position yourself as a thought leader on LinkedIn. I don't care what you do or what industry you're in. I can almost guarantee you that the playing field is wide open. Show up in many places. You're going to post content in your posts, right? That's a thing. And you can comment in prospects posts. You can host events like LinkedIn lives and host audio events with your clients. The goal is to build trust and credibility and give people a taste of what it's like to experience your genius. This is a long game. And for many of you, this may be a new skill, but the ones that win on LinkedIn don't leave the field after the first strikeout. Play the game until you win the game. Strategy number two, create a thought leader strategy, not a content strategy. Whether you're an employee, a new person building a brand, or a thriving leader in a dynamic organization, you're probably pretty good and maybe even a master of your craft. Position yourself as a thought leader. It builds trust and it gives you visibility to opportunities that you may not have otherwise had, like press or speaking or collaborations and much, much more. And strategy number three, harness the power of authenticity. That means show up as you, not the professional three-piece suit wearing pantyhose version of yourself. LinkedIn is actually a pretty safe place to just be you. And you wanna use your content to attract the people that value your expertise and your flaws and imperfections. And you want to repel the people that don't. It's just as important that we qualify and disqualify with what we say and show up doing on LinkedIn. Remember, LinkedIn is a powerful tool, but only if used wisely. Avoid these common pitfalls and embrace strategies to foster genuine connections and don't forget to add tremendous value to your prospects. Your prospects are researching, and if you show up educating them and giving them value, you will grow and put yourself in a position that is way better than where you are right now. 
I'm here to help you navigate this journey by sharing our painful lessons and our triumphant wins. Let's make 2024 a year of remarkable growth and meaningful connections on LinkedIn. And thank you for sticking around this long with me. If you found these tips helpful, please like, comment, or dare I say, share. For more insights on harnessing the power of LinkedIn, automation, and AI for sales, let's actually connect. Because Bethany the human responds, not some AI bot. So here's to our success together.